I want to talk to you about salvation. I want to talk about why a person must be born again. And what was the purpose of the death and the crucifixion of Jesus? I'm not going to make this long that I know. People, the world says, Father God, I come boldly unto the throne of grace to attain mercy and find grace in the time of need. Father God, in Jesus' name, I'm asking you to guide me and to show me how to minister the gospel of your Lord, your Son, Jesus, that died and rose for each and every one of us, no matter who we are or where we come from, that you gave us a way to escape the things that are coming upon our eternity not just what's coming on earth now eternity because we're not promised a tomorrow i ask this in the name of jesus and the father the son and the holy spirit let it be sealed in jesus name i want to talk about you and 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 why you need jesus there's a lot of doctrine out there there's a lot of people saying there is no hell yeah i love you jesus and there is no heaven I mean, there is a heaven and everybody can get there because Jesus died on the cross. So everything was conquered once and for all. So no matter how you live in this world, you're going to make it into heaven. That's not what happened at Calvary. Jesus didn't die on that cross. Jesus did not take them stripes if we were not bent to be healed. And Jesus was not chastised for our peace if we was not meant to have peace. And Jesus was not bruised for if we didn't have iniquity we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god i don't care who you are where you come from we all have sinned we were born into sin because of adam and eve but i'm not going to go through all this i'm going through that jesus loves you jesus knew from the beginning of time jesus was since the beginning of time and jesus knew who would receive him and who would reject him now a lot of people sit and say oh you're talking about then we're secure forever and 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 only very few can gets picked that's not what the bible says jesus says we are sealed jesus said and he prayed keep them that you have given me but see jesus knew that i we go and stand in the gap or one day i would do this video asking you to come to jesus who died and rose for you he knew if you would say yes or no but he still sent somebody in your lifetime somebody will come by and you will hear if he did he is the son of god you will hear that he died on the cross you will hear his name is jesus not in a curse sense but in a glory sense you will hear that he loves you and he died and he rose again for you personally now he gave us free will and he gave us free um will to say yes to the cross or say no to the cross men love sin more than they love their creator men will choose and i mean when i say men i'm talking about us all females and males okay we all came out of adam's rib and god created adam so we all come from god and we are in his image jesus loved you so much that he bore his creation to scoff him to curse him to beat him see jesus you know the passion of christ was a very powerful movie and jim went through a lot doing jesus i mean they electrocuted his 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 uh his uh sockets come out on his shoulder his um um heart uh, uh i believe they said it, um he said that he had to have heart surgery after this his heart swelled while he was doing the crucifixion so jesus gives you and me someone come in our life my mother was the one who ministered jesus to me i watched my mother live jesus okay i didn't watch my mother be a hypocrite i watched my mother walk the talk okay 
when you come to know Jesus as your personal savior, he comes and you, the old man is, is put aside and the new, you are born again. The new man comes in. The corruptible is taken off and you're putting on incorruptible in your spirit. In other words, you are changed literally inside. You are born, just like when you're born from your mom's womb, you are born into the kingdom of God. And you go before God and you seek his face and you go and you get in the word. You do not take, not listen to every minister and don't read what the Bible has to say. You got God's Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes in you. When you get baptized in the Holy Spirit, now it's a different subject. I'm talking about salvation now. The baptism of the Holy Spirit is praying in your heavenly language. That is a language, just like you have English, uh, Spanish, um, um, Hebrew, uh, uh, Greek, um, Aramaic, um, German, Latin. You have your languages. Well, and you have your heavenly language that you can speak to God in its you know, go straight to God and the evil one cannot interrupt. And another thing, God and Lucifer are not the same thing. God found evil in him. God found evil in him. Jesus loves you. He has sent in me and many other people by. If you're watching this video, if you're, if you're not born again, God brought you. Oh, you may grind your teeth and curse me and call me every foul thing there is under the sun. I don't care because I am a fool for Jesus Christ's sake. But when you get born again, you are you are to be separate from the world. In other words, separate from the world means you don't do what you used to do. If you were a liar, you stop lying because that lying is not in you no more. If you were a drunk, you're not a drunk no more. If you were a fornicator or um, uh, 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 an adulteress or adulterer, you're not that no more. That is thrown as far as the east is from the west from you. You have no excuse to sit there and say, well, I have these, this here. Every man is tempted. Temptation is not a sin. But if you dwell upon that temptation and then you let it get in and conceive it, then it brings forth death. Then you fall back into the ways, in other words, to your vomit. The Bible says a dog will turn to its vomit. That's what you did. You go back and you re-crucify Jesus again. But Jesus paid a penalty that only could have been paid through him. No animal sacrifice can, can cleanse you. Only the blood of Jesus and his death and resurrection. And when he went into the earth, he stripped hell of death, hell, and the grave. And Jesus came back and he told Mary, don't touch me. I haven't been glorified yet. And he descended to heaven and then he walked to serve for 40 days. And the ones that were in the gulf, which is paradise in the earth, paradise is where Abraham's bosom they all rose and went to heaven with him. When you pass away, you're going to two places. Heaven, where you're not separated from God, or hell, where you are separated. Now, I know a lot of people don't believe there's a hell. You're calling Jesus a liar. Jesus himself said hell is, and it was not a metaphor or whatever. It, it, it Hell is hell. It's a place just as much as heaven is a place. And if you do not serve Jesus and do not want him, and it doesn't mean you're a slave to Jesus. Jesus literally sets you free. Jesus gives you peace that is beyond understanding of this realm that we are in. Because we're in turmoil in this earth. We walk through, one day we have a, a blessed moment, and the next day we're, we're shattered. I mean, but when you have Jesus, he stands with you in the midst of that. And he gets you through it and you come out stronger than what you were before. But Jesus is a narrow path. And it ain't hard to serve Jesus. I hear many people say, oh, it's so hard to serve Jesus. No, it's not. It's a pleasure. It's a joy. You run to the cross. Shauna, please. You run to the cross. You run to, uh, the, to the word being fulfilled. You, you, Jesus brings life into you. And 
you come alive within him. You see things as you never seen things before. And you know one day you're going to meet him face to face. No matter if it's by the grave or the resurrection, which is the dead in Christ shall rise first, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air. And that's going to happen very soon. Soon, People call it Mepazel, uh, Maranatha, um, the salt taken, the Bible calls it. And, the, and man turned put rapture, because rapture means snatched away, taken, suddenly. And that's going to happen very soon. But we're talking about your soul right now. Because you're not promised your next breath. Jesus loves you. He proved who he was when he walked this earth. He gave his life so you can come to know him as who he is. God. In other words, Jesus is the connection that gives you back to the creator that Adam and Eve sold us out in the Garden of Eden by listening to Lucifer that went into a serpent and he deceived Eve and Adam. Because Adam could have grabbed him right then and there and threw him out of the garden because Adam had the authority. When God talked to Adam, Eve, Eve was not created as of that moment. So Eve heard what Adam said. And if you remember when they was in the beginning of the garden, when God was hunting them, of course God knew where they were at. And what's the first thing he says? The woman, the first blame, the woman. Who the woman blame? The serpent. See, when we depart from this world, there's no excuses no more. You have no excuse. You will not be... Be able to say, I never heard the gospel because the gospel through the United States of America has went forth across this world. We have satellite, TV, DVDs, radio, mouth to mouth, uh, the sword, the Bible. Um, that's the sword, the Bible. Um, you have uh, tracks. Um, you have many uh, communications where the gospel is going across this earth ministering to each and every one. Jesus loves you. He loves you. He died and he rose again for you. He given you a way to escape what is coming upon mankind. And he gave you a way to be in the presence of love forever because Jesus is love. Father God and Holy Spirit's love. They are love. We talk about love very flippantly in this world. They are love. They are peace. A lot of people say, well, if there's a God, then why is all this destruction? Remember, this world belongs to Lucifer, not the earth, the world. He, he is the prince of power, the rules of darkness in high places. He is the one who controls mankind. But it's the saints that are holding him back from being complete destructive upon this earth. Evil, if you haven't noticed in the last six months to, I'd say the last 10 years, this world is turning upside down. And, and it's getting nasty. I don't see how someone thinks they have a right to take someone else's breath from their body unless it's in self-defense. But the world thinks that they have this right. Because you say the name of Jesus, they hate you. They hate the name of Jesus. The world does. I love Jesus and I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus is the son of God. He's the only, be he's the first begotten. He's the only begotten. He's the first begotten. What I mean is he made a path where we'll be able to be adopted into the family of God. Jesus wants you to know him. And when you get born again, it's a personal relationship with you and God. I'm telling you, God, Jesus can make you laugh. Jesus tells you things that you don't know. He'll tell you and you're going down a road not to go down this one road. And, and sometimes you disobey and then your car gets in an accident or something or it stops working. You know, I mean, uh, Jesus has been with me so many times in my life. He has proven who he is to me. And he has loved me and God does speak to me. Through his word, he speaks it to through Avali. I've heard him. He has spoken to me, and Jesus is the Son of God, and Jesus wants you into his kingdom. He wants to hand you back into Father God's hands, where you belong. 
he shed his blood. He rose again from the dead. He literally took his body back. He really rose his physical body and he put his blood on the altar in heaven for you and me that we can see God someday in love. You know, there ain't no fear of God anymore. People don't fear God. They, 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 they hate each other. They despise, they steal and think it's okay. They false bear witness against each other. It's the body of Christ is doing this very much. And then people get mad because there's people that believe in the rapture. Or uh, I call it the salt taken because the scripture talks about the salt taken. And people get mad at this. And they say, well, you're going to take the mark of the beast. Let me get this clear and clear forth. A true child of God will stand until the end of time if they know Jesus. And they will not back down. And they're not ashamed of Jesus. I have brothers and sisters today are being persecuted all over this world. They are losing their lives. Seen an article of a brother lost his whole family. He was a minister. And he came home and his family was slaughtered. And they asked him, now will you renounce Jesus? He says, no, I will not. Because it ain't Jesus taking anybody's life. It's humanity on humanity listening to their hearts of the wickedness that man has conceived. That's why you need a savior. He takes that away and he gives you truth, love, hope, long suffering, gentleness, and meekness. Yes, we go through things in this life, but we can go through it with him. And he walks with us. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He restoreth my soul. Yes, though I walk through the valley, the valley the shadow of death, I fear no evil because his rod, which represents the shepherd, and his staff, which represents the king, comforts me. He is with you. He will be with you. Jesus loves you. If you want to know Jesus as your Savior, say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I am a sinner. I have sinned against your holiness. Forgive me and cleanse me from all unrighteousness, making me a new man. Make my spirit cleanse from all unrighteousness. Come and live inside of me. And Holy Spirit, teach me of Lord Jesus Christ. Teach me of who he is. Teach me how to love and forgive all those who trespass against me. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You give us this day our daily bread, and you forgive us of our sins, and you cleanse us from all unrighteousness as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do you notice he says, forgive those who trespass against you. He forgives you, but you forgive those who trespass against you. And leads not temptation, but deliver us from evil, for you are the power and the glory forever. Jesus loves you. And say, Lord Jesus, show me. And he is everything. Jesus is everything. And if you did accept Jesus as your Savior, get a Bible. If you don't have one, go to Pastor Paul Begley. Uh, I think it's Pastor Paul Begley at yahoo.com. Is that what it is, Shauna? Yeah, at yahoo.com. And he will send you a Bible. And he does send, he'll send you a CD too, I believe. So he, Jesus loves you. Welcome to the family of God. There's many ways you can seek Christian fellowship. There's, there, there's thousands of people out there that really do love Jesus. And they do have videos out there. And they have, they teach. But the thing is, you seek Jesus' face personally. You listen to the word of God. You do not take my words at face value. You take this holy word at face value. You take this, the sword, the Bible. You take it at face value. You take what he says in there. He is life and he gives it to you more abundantly. And Jesus loves you. Come to the family of God and seek the holy name of Jesus. 
He will open doors for you that you have never known, and he will close doors for you. Now, Father God, I come boldly unto the throne of grace to attain mercy and find grace in the time of this prayer. Father God, I'm asking you, your word cannot turn void. Lord, only bring those who seek in your face the seed to be planted into their spirit that they need a Savior. Lord, open their eyes, take the scales off their eyes and take the plugs out of their ears. Let them hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Let us wake up in the name of Jesus, Father God, and let us seek your face. I ask in the name of Jesus that's above all names and heaven and earth everything is was will ever be is in you Jesus yes she could eat that a sin on I see could eat that a shin on I see could eat here oh no no you see could eat it is she could eat that a sin on a matter is she could eat there is she could eat that a sin on an I see he could eat here oh save your Lord Jesus thank you we give you honor and praise for their soul and their salvation Lord Jesus I thank you for being God Almighty of heaven and earth. Everything that is, was, or ever will be is lying in your hands, Lord Jesus. I love you, Father God. And I thank you for being our King and our Lord. Shalom, shalom, Maranatha. Lord Jesus is coming very soon. Bride looketh up at his night, draw night unto his kingdom. I love you, Lord Jesus, and I am not ashamed of you. I am not ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Thank you for your time. Shalom, shalom. Jesus loves you. You will find he's a gem beyond all gems. Thank you for your time.